Hello students. Today I am going to start new science lesson for grade 7 students. That is unit 6 of your textbook about animal diversity. Now first we will see what is classification of animals. In Sinhala classification means Vargi Karane. So there are many more methods to classify animals in science but here uh, you are going to study about one feature that we are using to classify animals into two groups. Uh, that is the presence or absence of a backbone. Backbone means the vertebral column. In Sinhala it is Konduatapalia or Kasheru Kava. So uh, by considering the presence or absence of a backbone to animal, there are two main animal groups. The first one is vertebrates. Uh, they are the animals with the backbone are called as vertebrates. For example, fish, all amphibians, all the reptiles, birds and all the mammals live on our earth are come under the group of vertebrates. The second group of animals you find according to the above criteria is invertebrates. Invertebrates means the animals who are not having a backbone. That means these animals don't have a vertebral color. For example, insects. All the insects are included in the group of invertebrates. So here in this first diagram you see the vertebral columns of few animals. And here you have few examples for the invertebrates you find in your in, in our environment. Now we are going to see what are the adaptations of organisms to their living environment. So you know that there are two main types of organisms as vertebrates and invertebrates. And here you are going to see what are the adaptations shown by those animals to their living environment. In Sinhala, adaptations means anuvartana. So here is the definition for adaptations of organisms. That is the ability of an organism to adjust their new environment or to changes in their current environment. If I say it in Sinhala, Anuvartanya kela kiyane satek taung jeevatvena parisareta ho aluteng jeevatvena hadana parisareta anuva yage tiyena hadagasim walta tamai api anuvartanya kela kiyane. So these adaptations are very useful for an animal to maintain their existence. Now here we here I am going to show you the main reasons for showing adaptations by animals. The first one is to fulfill their basic needs like food, shelter and protection. In Sinhala, basic needs means Moolika Avashata. So the basic needs are very important for the existence of an animal. If animal does not get if an animal does not get food, shelter or protection, it will die. So uh, to fulfill these needs, they have to adapt to their living environment and also to ensure their existence in the environment. That means Parisare Tula Satunge Pavatma Tahauru Karagan. It means the animals have to face climatic changes or natural disasters. So they have to overcome these challenges and exist in their living environment. So adaptations are very important for an organism to overcome these two instances. Now, when considering the adaptations of an organism, color is one of the main adaptations shown by animals. So we will see how this color is useful for animal for their existence. Now most of the animals are having a body color which blends with their environment. That means Parisari in Godak Satunge Sharira Varnia Ebalangi Parisariatika Galapena Vidyata had a gaila theano. So this is very important in animals to 
provide protection that means they can protect from their predators and also it is very easy to find a prey api hitu satege sharire varne parisare varne ekka galapenawa nan egolanga hoya gane goduru karaganna bala gane inne sattungen aaraksha wenna meka udaw wenawa e wagema aahara hoya ganna meka sattunta godak udaw wenawa uh, so the blending of the body color with the environment is called as camouflage අපි මේකට රූපාන්තරණය කියලා සිංහලෙන් කියනවා ශරීර වර්ණය පරිසරයේ වර්ණයත් එක්ක ගැලපිලා ඉන්න තියෙන සතුන්ගේ හැඩ ගැසීමට අපි රූපාන්තරණය කෙමෝෆ්ලේජ් කියලා කියනවා නව් හියර් යු හැව් ෆිව් එක්සැම්පල්ස් ෆෝ ඇනිමල්ස් ෂෝවිං බොඩි කලර් විච් ඉස් සිමිලර් ටු දේ ආර් ලිවිං එන්වයිමන්ට් දැට් මීන්ස් ඇනිමල්ස් ෂෝවිං කෙමෝෆ්ලේජ් Now see how their body color is similar to their living environment and it is very difficult to identify some animals directly by seeing as their body color is very similar to their surrounding. So it is a mechanism of animals to protect from their predators and also to find food. Another main factor that is uh effect for the adaptation is shape shape means head so uh body shape of an animal is another adaptation uh, adaptation shown by an animal to maintain their existence now uh mainly the body shape is involved in maintaining the locomotion uh for example fish and birds are having streamlined shape body for efficient locomotion the shape of the fish and bird uh it they are having streamlined body so this is the streamlined shape and um, now see this fish is having the shape, streamlined shaped body and here you have a few, di- few diagrams of birds and they are also having the streamlined shape so this shape is very useful for these animals to maintain their locomotion now if you consider a fish it lives in water and this streamlined body shaped body helps them to swim through water and the birds are flying in air so this streamlined body shape helps to fly these animals in air and to maintain their body balance now those are the main factors that you have to learn in this lesson and here is the summary of your lesson uh, so at the beginning of the lesson we divided the animal into two main groups as vertebrates and invertebrates according to the presence or absence of a backbone so animals with the backbone are called as vertebrates and animals without a backbone are called as invertebrates so both these vertebrates and invertebrates show adaptations to their living environment and showing adaptations is very important to maintain the existence of animals and to find food and prevent from their predators so the body shape and the body color are mainly involving to involving in maintaining adaptations so uh, here you have few questions and you have to provide answers to these questions and make a simple note regarding the lesson uh, Thank you all.